Hello, this is Johnny. Today is uh, March 31st, the last day of the first quarter of 2023. Uh, so far in 2023, as I'm sure you're reading in the in the various uh, media you follow, that uh, you know home sales have started to, on a nationwide basis, have started to come off their lows a little bit. Uh, here on the Big Island, I would still uh, characterize the market as basically mostly frozen. Uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, sense of urgency uh, between the, with either the buyers or the sellers right now. But uh, I can see a little bit of glimmer of a, a comeback, a little bit more uh, showings and so on and so forth in the, in the last couple of weeks. So hopefully that continues. But today I would like to talk a little bit about uh, the days on market of the various properties that I represent. A big part of my business is selling uh, resort condos along the Kohala Coast to the Big Island. And a lot of those condos are vacation rentals, which means that uh, in many cases they're difficult to show. And so a lot of times when a prospective buyer comes in, one of their first questions is, is how long has this been on the market? And, you know, the days of uh, buying sight unseen and so on during the, the frenzy of the coronavirus have basically gone away. But, uh, and also there's a lot of uh, revenge, so-called revenge travel going on. Uh, the rental <coughs> situation here on the Kohala Coast has been very busy. Uh, most of the uh, rental agents that I've talked to are having a record year, and a lot of that is from, uh, you know, trips that were postponed from the uh, days of the virus. But in any case, you know, if uh, if a buyer walks in and you say, hey, the first thing, one of the first things they usually ask is, how long has this been on the market? Well, if it's been on the market for, you know, 45 days, 60 days, uh, they immediately assume it's overpriced. And in many cases, uh, that is not the case. <laughs> and the reason why is that uh, it's, the property has been unable to be shown. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times, uh, you know, renters, they, they own it during the time that they're staying in a unit, and a lot of times they won't allow showings. And also, uh, over the years, I've uh, you know, I bought all kinds of dinners and various things to entice renters to uh, vacate the property so I could show it. But, you know, the conversion rate of that is relatively low. For one thing, uh, you know, a lot of renters don't leave it in that great of a condition, uh, although some do. And, you know, when buyers come in, they like to imagine themselves in the place, not someone else, even if they're going to rent it. And if they walk in and there's, there's stuff laying all around that belong to the renters, uh, some people can overlook that, but it, a lot of people can't. So uh, if you're coming over here and looking for a, a condo, a rental condo, it's kind of a catch-22 because the next question is, is what's the rental history of this unit like? Well, if you take it off out of the rental market so that you can show it, then that reflects itself in the rental history and makes the property less desirable in a lot of people's eyes. So anyway, that's my little short spiel this morning is that when you, especially in a rental condo here on the Kohala Coast of the Big Island of Hawaii, the days on the market may or may not reflect the accuracy of the pricing. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a beautiful day here on the Big Island again.